Hello, buddy. We're back. I just wanted to uh, update this fan video. Every time I say I'm going to update a video, it doesn't really come out very well. And it's a Monday, so you know how that goes. Anyway, I put that fan motor in here, and what happened? It made such a vibration, I couldn't stand it. It was wobbling too bad. So, I put this little tiny computer fan in that a buddy of mine just happened to bring me by right before that. Actually, he was still here. I actually like this. I had a bigger one in here when I first hooked up my solar. I uh, zapped it, killed it, put too much power to it because I didn't, I had, somebody had hooked up the solar panels they gave me in series. So anyway, but I'm uh, looking on eBay right now for a, uh, for a, uh, I had a four and a quarter inch one. I think they make, they make like a 5.5 inch one of these. And that's pretty good. And the thing I like about it, it gives you plenty clearance between your screen here. You don't have to worry about shutting your lid. It's cheap. It's easy. You just get the fan. What I did was I used just two self-tapping screws right into that metal rod. Easy as pie. Run the wire. Switch. You're done. And uh, anyway, a couple other things I wanted to tell you. Well, look how great my solar's running. Let's see what my batteries actually are. These are my these are my main batteries. They're just two DC 24 deep cycles. Uh, I'm right about right, 13.5, 13, 13, actually, that's good, that's great. With the charge, it jumps it right back up. And then I'm on my fridge, looks like we're in discharge mode, and I'm still at 14.3, so uh, that's great. And I wanted to show you, oh yeah, I got something in the mail today. I wasn't supposed to get this till April 29th, but they're kind of rushing it, this uh, box. As you can see, it's got the perforated holes that comes apart it's aluminum on the bottom it's a really nice box actually and uh, this is going to be my solar charge controller what I'm going to do that I'm making for myself I'm going to put a voltage amp meter up here that right, lights up in a uh, red volts blue amps and then down here I'm going to put a green switch to turn the solar on really nice switch too they're the new brand new angel eye switch and then I'm going to put an orange one right here and I can use that for whatever I want I'm not going to show you what I put on the inside. It's a secret for now. Anyway, uh, and oh, yeah, I didn't do anything on the swamp cooler because it's getting ready to get cold out here. As a matter of fact, it started cooling off today, but I started getting it ready. This is right here a Walmart fan, and uh, I recommend these because they're pretty high-powered but real low volts. Here's what it looks like right here. When I take this one apart, I'll show you guys how I did it. What I did basically was... I just took it all apart, and uh, but you can't just screw it right to this basket here. you got to have the housing part. So I took the housing part back there, as you can see, and I uh, you could leave it on if you wanted to, but I didn't want to so because then I can't get to the wires and stuff. So I uh, just cut that housing off with the razor blade. You do that, be real careful. Put it on a table or something to make sure that blade ain't going to hit you. Anyway, uh, that's how it looks. That's one. That's number one. And the reason I'm doing this is I got a switch on the swamp cooler for high-low already, and I noticed that sometimes at night when I turn it off, it's hot. If I turn it back on, it's too cold. So uh, I'm just going to have it where we run one, and then I can turn it on full blast and run two. Hey, buddy. Right now, as you can see, I didn't even put the wood back in or nothing. I just put a plastic bag over the cover there and She's airtight. It's going to start raining tonight and for the next couple, three days. And uh, that's about it for now. I'll post another video if I can find my other dog here. Where'd she go? Shadow, where you go? Oh, back there hiding in the shadows. That's why your name, huh? Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll see you guys, talk to you guys later. Thanks a lot. Bye.